Growing up, I think there was a lot of times when I felt like I'm gonna be a pretty good parent. And then when you get into it and you're in situations that didn't quite turn out the way you thought you would. And it's at those moments where you just, you have to dig into the power of the Holy Spirit in your life and say, God, lead me through this. I don't know how to respond. I thought I would, but humanly, I have no concept. We have been in this mindset within the church that our kids had to perform a certain way. They had to meet certain standards. They had to act a certain way. And so the concept of being perfect parents meant that our children had to fit within this box that we had shaped for them. And if they stepped outside of it, then somehow we're a failure. And anyone who has been around kids knows that it's not so easy to get them to fit into any kind of a box. Most parents want to be good parents. Most parents want to do what's right. And yet almost everyone will tell you that they don't know how to. And spiritual parenting gives us permission to realize that it's not our job to shape the person that God is shaping in the lives of our children. It's really the Holy Spirit's job to do that. And it's a scary thing to let go of the control of our children and to leave that up to God when we don't necessarily understand the path that He's taking them on. The most rewarding thing is having given them that space to hear things that I wish I would have said or had the wisdom to be able to say, but the acknowledgement that the Holy Spirit truly has been working in their lives. I think anyone who is a parent and even people who watch parents are probably astounded by the fact that God gives us the opportunity to speak into these amazingly moldable lives. And the fact that God entrusts us with an immortal soul to shape and to form and to lead them to Him, it's almost overwhelming.